Hello everyone, it's Stein Brook from Stein Air here again today. On the last video we uh, crimped on a couple D-sub pins. This time we're going to look at replacing them in and out of or placing them in and out of their uh, connectors. So these are the D-sub connectors and we talked about the genders of the connectors. We have a male here which is the one with the actual pins inside of it and we have a female here which is the ones with the actual sockets inside of it and uh, they just go together standard like normal D-sub pins. The standard tools to remove them look just like this. The red and white one is for standard D-sub pins when it's made out of metal. They do come in plastic also, but they're not nearly as robust. They're much cheaper. Some of them aren't even uh, sized correctly. Many of them are import ones which aren't very good. We don't really recommend using these plastic ones unless they're just provided with you. We sell these on our website. Uh, they're only five or six dollars for the various sizes and we actually sell the mil spec ones so we know they're sized correctly. They're much more robust, though still a bit fragile, so you have to be a little bit careful with them. To uh, insert and remove pins, you just find your connector and uh, say that you've misplaced a wire and you want to remove it. We're going to use this red wire, for example. It's in the center there. This is our tool. The white side is for removing pins. The red side is for inserting pins. So to remove a pin, you'll notice the shape of the uh, tool has a little valley in it. We're simply going to uh, slide the wire into the valley of this connector until it's in the tool and you can see there we just slide the tool down over the wire into the connector wiggle it a little bit until we feel it pop and give a, a gentle tug on the wire and the pin and the wire both will come out at which point we can remove the uh, tool then we can go replace this into a different location or back where we needed it sometimes you can just push these in by hand but it is always best to use the uh, other side of the tool which is the red side here it's a little bit different you'll place that over the wire and just push the wire in with it and it'll pop right back in in place. This is the case whether they're high density or standard density. Again, to remove the, the uh, wire, we'll just show you this once again, a little bit different angle here. We'll just get the wire pushed down into the tool. The tool will kind of snap over the wire. You can see that there. We'll slide it down, wiggle it till it gets in the hole of the uh, connector. We can give it a little bit of rotation, push on it, give it a little bit of wiggle when we push on it and then just give the wire itself, don't pull on the tool, just give the wire itself a gentle tug and the pin and the wire and the tool will come out. You can remove the tool and simply insert the pin into the hole that you desired. And you can use the red side of the tool just to push it back in there. And that's all there is to that. It's really quite simple. It's not complicated at all. Works on male or female pins the same way. And the male ones are just the same. They look the same. They work the same. We use the same tool, same side of the tool, right side of the tool. We will just simply put the wire into the tool until it's in that little valley. Slide the tool over the connector, wiggle it until we feel a little bump in there. Give the wire a gentle tug. Going to push on the tool sometimes correctly. Out comes the uh, pin and the wire. Sometimes they take a little bit more of a tug than other times. Remove the uh, tool. If we want to reinsert it, put it back into the hole, use the red side of the tool, push it back in there till we hear it click, and then we're secured back in the connector again. That's how we remove and insert pins in D-sub connectors. Thank you for watching, and if you want to buy these tools or the connectors or the pins or the wire, it's all available at www.steinair.com.